thank you for joining me today. It's Helen with the Better Half blog. I am going to share with you some interesting topic and it is starting off the new year with daily habits. So I have brought a ton of stuff on this table today to share with you because um, I just required to show a little bit of each of the things that I do in my routine. And this routine, is something new to me. I've tried time blocking. I've tried um, so many different ways of planning and it just was not keeping me productive. And so one of the big things that I want to let go of is a lot of procrastination, a lot more productivity through my year in um, 2021. So just starting off the new year fresh with a new intention um, is something that I needed. So. I saw a lot of planner channels where people have a word of the year or maybe a theme and put a lot of focus on keeping up with that word. And so I love that. So I picked that up real quick and I decided to choose one myself. And so let me show you what that word is for me this year. Let me just scooch everything over so I can open this up for you. And the year is starting off in my Hobonichi cousin, Avec, and for me, that word is minimal. So just keeping things to a minimal in, in this house and in my work, my brain, um, everything, even my computers, my phone, apps, all that kind of stuff. Just Practicing minimalism is something that I've been trying to do for the last couple of years and it has not been easy. So donating and just decluttering my home and all that kind of stuff, but, and tossing, a ton of tossing, but um, still when we moved in July of this year, we still had like two large moving trucks full. I mean, literally our movers had to go back and forth twice. So, I have a lot of work to do with creating um, a minimalist space here where I raise a family and also work and rest. So this house is kind of my workplace, my everything. And so I decided to choose this word and this theme so I can focus on it throughout the year to really be at a very good place in my life um, at the end of 2021. So. Here's what I've decided to do to keep myself accountable throughout the year while keeping up with my family, work, and myself. And that is to create a routine. So I've created three routines throughout the day, just any given day. It could be a weekend, it could be a work day. And um, I decided I'm going to give this a try for the next week. And I started last night. And so I just wanna give you a couple ideas of you know where I struggled the most and what were some good things that came out of you know keeping up with these routines. So three routines are AM routine, work routine, and PM routine. So in the morning I decided to wake up a little bit extra early. So I mean it, 5 a.m. So that's the time I woke up this morning and as stated in my video sharing 12 ways to use your Hovenichi Techo, you know, the small A6 size, I'm using this Techo in the original size to record my daily routine. So I mentioned that in that video, if you have not watched it, go back and watch it because I realize I need to kind of keep track of all the things that I'm doing throughout the day and why it's not making me productive. So now going into the new year, I've tracked, right? So instead of going and tracking after actions have taken place, what I've decided to do is now create new routines, kind of keeping me in control of how I use my day, my 24 hours. So I started it last night. It's not written here, it's written in, in somewhere else um, because I was just kind of practicing to see if I can follow through with it if it even makes sense to me and so I've kind of jotted down some ideas and thoughts that came to me and um, the way I did this is for the morning routine I wanted to add 
things in my morning where it made me happy. It put me at peace and it was getting me, literally getting me ready for the day to tackle those, those tasks, those projects that I've been putting off or possibly those phone calls that I've been putting off. And so I have created what I call my peaceful morning time routine. And so in the morning, I wake up at 5 a.m. And so this morning, I, my alarm rang for four minutes before I, it woke me up. So 5.04 a.m., I woke up, did my weight check, workout. So my, when I say workout, literally, it was like 10 minutes, flash workout on my app, just following it. And then I got ready, took a shower, got ready, tidy the bathroom, tidy the bedroom while um, my husband was still sleeping because he just flew out this morning, um, ran the laundry, tidy the kitchen for like 10 minutes, opened all the windows in the living room, family room area to kind of air out, had my coffee, and then I did my AM journaling um, and I keep these things in a separate journal. So in the morning, this is my pile that I come to. So in my pile, I have this old study Bible and I have the study Bible notes, um, notebook. And then I have a book here that I mentioned in my pre one of my previous videos for you guys to definitely check this out if you have so much that you're doing around your household. Company journal where I'm keeping this Nolte in here and I decided I'm going to switch this up into a prayer journal for my company. So jotting down each day's prayer for the company. It might be a team worker, team, uh, team member, it might be for our production, it might be for scheduling, you know, all kinds of things. Like today, this morning, Sean is traveling, so I was praying for Sean. Um, and so this is kind of that journal. And then I have um, my Bible journal and just scripture reading and just referencing um, notebook. And I'm using um, the wonder, I'm trying this out, let me try. I'm using the Wonderland 222 and it's a notebook version. It's not the actual planner, it's the notebook version. What that means is it has 365 pages in here of just gridded free space with a little section on top to add a date and a little something, a title or something. And I'm just using it like this um, where I'm writing down the verse that I'm reading, um, th things that I'm learning along the way, and then some verses that I definitely want to come back and reference later on, and just putting the date and the day. And that's how I'm using this journal. I love that. And it's, it's a Tomaya River paper, so I wanted to give that a try. It's made in the U.S., and I love that. So gave that a try. And then I even got to read. I got to actually read for like 30 minutes. Now in my morning routine, um, again, just because it's such a happy, peaceful moment for me in the morning where no one is bothering me and, and, and stuff like that. So what I've decided to do is to not time myself. So I'm not giving myself any time to like stop and start, you know, reading and read for 30 minutes and then now stop and go do the next thing. I'm not doing that. I'm just giving myself space. So when I say space, I mean it. So I, so I did that, I did everything. My daughter, my 10 year old was sleeping in our bed. So she just woke up um, a couple hours ago and she's still hanging out in our room. So I didn't make the bed, but other than that, laundry to dryer, um, planner, check my Hovenichi cousin and my notion for today's task, planned tasks. Um, and then my end time for my AM routine was 7, 12 AM. So I kind of thought that this morning routine would end up being somewhere around 9 AM that I'll start getting to work, but it ended up being an hour or I'm sorry, two hours and 12 minutes. And so it was just a lot of peace time, happy time, 
um, time where I got a lot of ha new habits that I really, really wanted to incorporate into my life on a daily basis to happen. So that happened this morning. Then I went to my work routine. So the way I created my work routine is, is simple. I am working at the maximum one hour on a project or a task. And if I have a quick task within that one hour, I'm just tackling all those tasks. It's focus time for me to only focus on work. So I'm not getting up to do the dishes real quick. I'm not getting up to make coffee. I'm not getting up to, you know, anything else. I'm literally sitting at my desk and working. And, um, and then I take a 10 minute break. So every 60 minutes of work, I'm doing 15 minutes of break. If I work between 30 minutes to 45 minutes focus time work, then I am taking a 10 minute break. So I'm always giving myself and rewarding myself with a nice little break to kind of get myself back in, in, the, in the go um, and to start a new project or task um, or continue on with that task um, when I come back from the break. And so that has been amazing. And let me tell you, like, this is no joke. I literally kid you not. So this is my new Hobonichi Cousin 2021. And wow, it's a new week. I'm so excited to actually get into this planner because it's my first Hobonichi year um, in the Cousin Evec in the cousin period. And so I'm really excited. So today's test, I tackle them all like nothing. And by the time I was done, I timed myself and my kids came downstairs to eat their breakfast. It was 11.40 a.m. So from seven, let's say 7.30 a.m. to 11.40 a.m., I worked on like the 30 minute, 10 minute break, 45 minute, 10, mi 10 minute break, 60 minutes, 10, uh, 15 minute break. And I literally just got all this, all this done. And now I have enough time. I, when I saw this list, I realized I was probably going to end up putting a lot to the next day. So, Filming this YouTube video today, today's Monday, and I'm supposed to post it tomorrow, which is Tuesday, which you're probably watching it on Tuesday. I didn't want to overwhelm myself, so I actually put it film YouTube here on Tuesday, and I'm getting to it now because I'm done with today's task. And so I looked at tomorrow's task to see what else I can tackle because I have all this time and until my PM routine, right? So then I looked and <laughs> there it is, right? So I said, okay, that's what I wanna do. So I chose film YouTube, I'm gonna edit it today and I'm going to actually schedule it to be posted in the morning tomorrow. So I'm really excited about what is happening here. Um, and then let me share with you my PM routine. So my PM routine is starting at six. So my AM routine, 5 AM, my PM routine at 6 PM. Um, one of the things that I struggled the most as a working at home mom was cooking dinner on time. So a lot of the times I'm in the middle of work and because I was not doing focus work like I am doing here um, with these new routines, what I was doing was I was doing the dishes or I was cooking in the middle of like working. I would stop and do something else for the house and all this stuff. So it just became a big, big scramble. And so by the time nighttime came, it was really difficult for me sometimes when I'm really into this project that I'm working on at my desk to stop and start cooking on like right on the dot. So now with this having, um, you know, into play in my life, 6 p.m. is the go. And so I tried this out last night and it worked wonderfully. So let me share with you what I do. So I, at 6 p.m., I start cooking. So I have the alarm set for 6 p.m. and it'll tell me to cook dinner. And so I actually, it'll say p.m. routine. And um, so I, I am cooking on my Instant Pot, which takes me like five to 15 minutes max to prepare to put everything into the Instant Pot 
and let it cook by itself. Um, and then, and in those days when I'm using the stove, I mean, it'll take a little bit longer to cook, but it's okay. Again, I'm not timing myself um, throughout the routine, right? Just when it begins. So then I cook and then I go to clean zone one. And let me show you what that means. So going back to my theme word of the year, my zones, I decided to put it like this. So in my Hovenichi Avec, I have, this is my master planner, right? And so under, under stairs, entryway, dining table, these are places, these are zones that I want to minimalize. I put declutter, but like really declutter and minimalize. So this is not actually cleaning and tidying up. It's actually going through the whole under the stairway um, area and in that zone to actually like take everything out and um, decide if I want to toss it, donate it, or keep it. And, um, and so that's what I have going on here. So entryway, dining table, living room area, um, family room, sofa, all these different areas where things get, you know, kind of like put on top of, I'm going to start minimalizing and tackling those areas. And so that is that. Um, cleaning is another, cleaning and decluttering, but t cleaning and actually tidying is the word, is um, just doing the laundry, cleaning the kitchen floors, kitchen, um, tidying up the kitchen, entryway, dining table, living room floor, entry floor, um, master floor, uh, our kids sheets, <laughs> guest bathroom. So those are cleaning and tidying tasks. And these are tasks that really get kind of put, put to the side when I'm really busy. Like right now in the month of the rest of this week, I'm going to be really, really busy. And so I love the fact that I'm able to schedule that in here. And, and that, my friends, I am timing because who wants to sit there and declutter <laughs> for a long time and right after they just cooked dinner and worked even before that. So that I am, I am actually timing myself to 20 minutes each day because we have 365 days in a year and I'm actually starting a few days early in December. So I'm okay with not finishing a area, a zone, um, and, and just totally minimalizing that zone on day one. I'm okay with that. So I will continue. Um, then I take a 15 minute break, reward myself again, and then I clean zone two for 15 minutes now. So this is very psychological now. You know, because when I started doing this yesterday, it really helped me to think and really focus on that 15 minutes. And you'll be surprised how fast you can do things. And especially when it comes to decluttering, because those are things like a lot of people, well, me personally, put to the side, knowing and, and being kind of like building anxiety, right? Over wanting to minimize that area but not getting to it each day. Um, so 15 minutes is just enough time for me to feel focused and just tackle it, just do it. And um, within 15 minutes, I actually ended up tackling this one zone in the house that has been driving me nuts since we moved here. And it just became clean and minimal. So now I'm going to go to Home Depot with my husband this weekend. I told him this morning and um, we're going to buy a nice big plant to fill that space with simple, just simple green. And then after that, um, I have a light dinner, put away the laundry because remember I did the laundry in the morning routine um, and then get ready for bed. And, and then I start journaling. So getting ready for bed means like showering and doing all that kind of stuff, um, getting in my PJs, um, tucking my kids to sleep, and then starting my journaling session, which I love because again, it's that moment of peace for me. Um, if you watch my other videos, they talk about journaling and what it's doing for me. It's really, really helping me emotionally to cope with the pandemic, 
kids staying at home um, for so long and then having online school and then going back to school, driving five and a half hours, you know, around with the kids and then coming home and trying to make time to get things done. And it's just really helping me. And then a husband that travels more than half the year. So it's been really helping me. And also, um, so these are my lineup for my evening journaling. So I, number one, I tackle tomorrow's task. So I go over and although it's pre-planned, I go over tomorrow's plan one more time so that it's in my head. I'm not in bed thinking about it and um, driving myself nuts and not letting my brain to sleep because that's what I used to do. I used to have insomnia. I couldn't sleep at night because I would just sit there and like, oh my God, I forgot to write that down. Oh my gosh, I have to go to my work desk run to the work desk and write that down because I cannot forget to do that tomorrow. I have this planner right by my bedside in the evening. I take it with me to the bed and um, you know where I start journaling. So I look at tomorrow's tasks. I look at all the declutter zone, cleaning and tidying zone, make sure I crossed off whatever I did today and then kind of focus myself to think, okay, tomorrow you're gonna work on these zones these two zones and then for cleaning you probably need to work on like for example guest bathroom because you didn't do it last week you know something like that and so I'm planning this out then uh, my second journal is my emotional journal so you guys know about this from previous video again um, but I just been doing emotional journaling here and um, I was actually venting before and now I turned that as of December something I turned that into a gratitude journal so this is where I get to think and reflect on the day and just um, relax and um, have myself a little bit of writing and getting things out of myself and just what happened during the day and what I'm grateful for the most today so I have that then my third journaling is my Hobonichi cousin and that my friends I will share with you in another video because that second Hobonichi cousin and that's not the Avec version that's the actual um, big one for the whole year it, I'm do, using that for memory keeping and so I am starting to put pieces and things together in there so I will share with you once I'm ready but those are the three journals that I'll be working on in, in the evening. And then I start reading it. I don't know why I don't have it here, but I start reading my evening book, which is a novel. So I decided because I'm so into nonfiction books, like this is a nonfiction book, right? It's like self-help, development, anything, business, entrepreneur. Those are the type of books that I've been reading for years. So I decided to give myself a little room to go back to reading some novels this year, or the new year. And so this one, I took out the cover, because my daughter spilled something. The Last Story of Mina Lee. This is written by a Korean author, and I thought that was kind of special, because I'm Korean. And um, I saw this on one of the tables at Barnes & Nobles, and so I decided to give this a try. So I started reading this last night, fell in love with it, and um, I'm not reading to the point where, you know, I feel like it's overwhelming or I'm so into it, but I'm just reading enough to where it makes me um, want to fall asleep. So it relaxes me enough to fall asleep, not because the book is boring, but because I'm relaxed now and I'm ready to go to sleep. So me before I used to sleep at different hours like 1 a.m., 2 a.m., 3 a.m., sometimes 4, sometimes I look from my work desk while working and I look and it's 5 a.m. So that is going to end in 2021. That is my plan. So that's what's been happening here and I am loving what I'm seeing in my life right now for the last, whatever, 24 hours. If you're kind of like me and you're, you're in a place where you're struggling with your time management, so many things to do with very limited time. And then there are those great habits that you wanna incorporate into your life, but you just keep putting off to the side. I really, really want to encourage you today to sit down and write down your AM peaceful moment 
you know, routine and then your actual work time routine, how are you gonna, gonna use it? Are you gonna do like something like I'm doing, like give yourself a reward every time you work 30 minutes to an hour? Whatever it is, you know, make it work for you, personalize it to the point where you feel at peace and you feel less stressed and you feel like happy every day. So that's some of the pros that I'm seeing and some of the cons that I am seeing. So the struggle was real and I don't even want to call this a con, okay? Um, it was hard for me to not get to work right away. So for me, when I come out of my bedroom to the kitchen area where my um, work desk is located, I end up feeling like I need to work right? I'm a workaholic. I need to go to work. And for me to stop myself and do my morning routine, the journaling, the reading, the scripture, like praying and reading my book and all that kind of stuff, it was really, really difficult. It was for me like the biggest struggle um, to keep me away from my work test. So I ended up coming to my breakfast nook, which I'm filming, filming this video at. And I just sat down here with this, this basket um, of my morning stuff. And I just sat down here and did what I needed to do. And that really helped me. Um, the second struggle that I had was taking breaks in between my deep focused work time. Like I am a workaholic. So when I, a lot of the times, you know, and I'm sure you could relate when you start a project or a big task, right. That requires more than 30 minutes or an hour, or it, it might even require several days of those, you know, focused time work. It was, it's really hard for me to stop working and then get up to take a break. So that to me was a biggest struggle, but I'm sure that, that taking that break after my focused hour or whatever is really helping me to actually produce more in so little time. So I edited a video for um, the company today and um, it was supposed to take, I would say about two and a half hours. And I ended up finishing that whole editing and having it ready in 30 minutes. I was so focused. And um, so that really shrunk my time for that project. Um, and it really surprised me actually. So that was a struggle, but it was also a good thing, right? So um, conclusion, you know, all in all, I'm having this idea to keep all my desired habits and the word of the new year, which is minimalism, minimal, in full motion. So I'm using these routines, the AM, work, and PM routines to do that. And I hope this video inspired you to try working out a routine that best suits you for 2021 as well. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on Saturday. Bye.